Hey, hey, hey. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Well, my husband has a word from you all, and you all know what I'm going to say next. I'm going to step to the side and let God deliver. Y'all have a good day. Praise God. Good morning, uh, TV land, radio land. Good morning. First of all, let's bow our heads in prayer. Heavenly Father, God, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we come, Lord, just praising you. Just want to first say thank you, Lord, for this most beautiful day, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for our health and our strength, Lord. Father God, Lord, we just thank you, Lord, for being God. Father God, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord, if we have seen within our hearts and within our mind, Lord, we ask you, Lord, that you just forgive us, Lord. We repent from it. That we may receive your word, Lord, with the fullness and understanding. I pray, the Lord, that the word of God fall upon good ground in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. All these things, Lord, I ask in Jesus' name. Amen. And amen. Praise God. God gave me some things and each time that we give God's word and God share it to us. He, you know, he freely give it to us and we freely give it to y'all. That's the way it's supposed to be. Each time that we, we share the word, you know, he showed me something. We got a finger and a thumb and three fingers hitting us back. It's not only for y'all, it's for us also. And he was sharing with me was that If and God is speaking to someone out here, if you're going to live as a believer and walk as a believer and talk as a believer, we, we have to do this thing fully. You can't be one part out in the world and one part in into this yeah. and I was sharing with a brother this morning is that God wants us to be in this whole hall and I was sharing with him was that I'm sharing this with you as I'm receiving it. The reason why that the devil attacks God's children so much because he know that he is, we are of God. We are of light. See, if you was of the world, the devil wouldn't even mess with you. But you are of light, my children. He attacks you. He attacks our mind. He attacks our loved one. He attacks us. He gets us to do things in the flesh that we shouldn't do. Yes. But Jesus had a little, it was no problem with him, but he shared with Brother Nicodemus. And Nicodemus wanted to know that Jesus told Nicodemus that you must be born again. And Nicodemus said, how can I go into my mother's womb? I'm, I'm a grown man. How can I go up in the second time? He said, no, I'm talking spiritual. Many of us that faces battles and trials and tribulations, we have to be prayed up and this is a spiritual fight. And Jesus, if you look at John, the third chapter, and this is what Jesus was saying. And I'm going to start at the 10th verse. And Jesus answered and say unto him, Art thou a master of Israel and knowest not these things? Talking about the leaders. 
He said, verily, verily, I say unto thee, we speak that we do not and testify that we have not seen, and ye receive not our witness. He said, Jesus said, if I have told you earthly things, and ye believe, and ye believe not. How shall you believe if I tell you heavenly things? Spiritually. And no man has ascended into heaven, but he that cometh down from heaven, even the Son of Man, which is in heaven. And as Moses lift up the serpent in the wilderness, even so the Son of Man be lifted up. <clears throat> then he also led me to 2 Corinthians. That's what Paul was talking about. <clears throat> be ye not the second chapter of 2 Corinthians, the sixth chapter, the 14th verse. Be ye not unequal eager yoke together with unbelievers. For what fellowship have righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion has light with darkness? And what corner have Christ with Baal? Or what path, what part have he that believe with, with any infidel? And what agreement as the temple of God with idols. For ye are not the temple of the living, I mean, he said, ye are the temple of the living God. As God has said, I will dwell in them and walk in them, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. Wherefore, come out from among them, and be ye separate, say the Lord. Touch not the unclean things, and I will receive thee. And will be a father unto you, and ye shall be my sons and daughters, said the Lord Almighty. <sighs> this is what Paul was saying to sum it all together. When he said, be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers, talk about corner minded people. Negative people. People that don't believe God's word. People that don't want to live for God. They want to still do the things of the world, but yet they want to be blessed. Again, we have to give and step out in faith and give everything that we have to him. God say, my thoughts, my ways are not like your thoughts and ways. We may see that and say, but I'm trying, I'm going to do this here. I know I, I Telling it like it is. Again, I hear people say that, but I, I'm only human. I, I try. Okay, you was only human when you was out there and seeing. You was trying, but you was you you, you was trying not to be out there and seeing, but you was there. Now God is trying to pull you out. God is saying to His people today, come. Out of Solomon and Guma. Come out from among them. Come out. Come out of sin. Man, see, there's one thing I like about this ministry that God is putting up is putting up. See, I know that people wants to receive a lie, but they don't want to receive the truth. I'm so glad that God got this ministry and got my wife and I. We're going to keep it 100 with y'all. And this is what Paul was saying. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship have righteousness with unrighteousness? He said, what communion has light with darkness? Why do you still fellowship with these people out here in the world? Why do you still go back into Egypt when God didn't pull you back from Egypt? 
We want to be blessed. We want to walk into the things of God. But yet, then, are we doing the necessary thing to, to do to walk into the things of God? We want to be blessed from God, but are we preparing ourselves? Are we preparing this temple? Are we asking God to, Lord, forgive me? Are we repenting fully to be blessed from God? See, repent means to turn away. It's no more why. It's you, Christ. You, you didn't give, you didn't give the deeds to him to take fully control. But again, like God spoke to me and a couple of summers ago, and we had to be careful. We know the right words to say. We know the right things and the right motions to do. We give a good lip repentance, but we don't give a good heart repentance. That will make our heart evil. He say, "What do conquer have Christ? I mean, have Christ rebel, or what part?" He that believe with infidels. 16 verse saying, What garment have the temple of God with idols? Whoever's out there is dealing with idols, put them down, break them up. Break them up. God said, Break up your fallow ground. That means break up every part of sin that is in your life. Break it up. I don't know who this is for. I'm just being led to say this here. No, it's good to always get a, a, a word. Know that the word, the word of God is like a two-edged sword. It goes in and it cuts and it come out and it cuts. A two-edged sword. Sometimes the word be sweet. Sometimes the word be built. No, sometimes that, you know, the milk be good and sometimes the milk don't be good. But God is worrying about your soul. your soul at this time. And he said in 16 again, And what agreement have the temple of God with idols? For ye are not the temple. He said, that, he said, Ye are the temple of the living God. As God has said, I would dwell in you. I would, I would dwell in them and walk in them. And I will be their God. And that should be my and that should be my people. I'm not gonna tell you like most Christian, I mean like most preachers and most prophets they will say it's gonna be an easy ride. Cause I'll be lying. Because that you still fighting with the devil, we war against principality in high places spiritually. Yes. That's above. Mm -hmm. That's above. I'm not going to say that no no that everything is going to be easy. But it's not because that we deal with things every day. It's like every second that me and my wife we deal with things. And we have to know no, believe God, even Mo, I mean, even Abraham, even though that Abraham was a friend of God, God, I mean, Abraham heard of God, know that God was giving different tests to go through. Hey, he, he had to go through them tests. No. And he said in the 17th verse, he said, Wherefore, come out from among them and be ye separate, say the Lord, touch not the unclean thing. And I will receive you fornication, adultery, lying, marriage. You have a spouse. Your body is there, but your mind is on him on the other side of town. That was the old song. Your body is here. You thinking about the guy or, or, or her that you met at work or you met at the grocery store. 
and your mind, you, you forget to do all your chores at the house. And it's caused a big old dispute in the house because you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing. He's not doing what he's supposed to be doing because your mind is on this guy or, or your mind is on this woman. Come from among them. This is for somebody out here. He said, touch not the unclean thing, fornication, adultery, lying. I didn't say this. 17 verse, wherefore come out from among them and be ye separate, said the Lord. Touch not the unclean things. When you don't touch none of this here, the flesh of the things, which are, which is the flesh, fornication, adultery, lying, no truth breakers. In Galatians, it, it tells you all this about the, about, about, about the flesh. He said, touch not the unclean things. Then he said, I will receive you to my own. You will be my daughters and sons of God. I will walk with you. I will talk with you. That means that you turn, you, you turn away from sin. He said in 18 verse, and I will be a father unto you, and ye shall be my sons and daughters, say the Lord Almighty. All this busybody, you know, know that he said he said he said he said when you stop doing this, stop doing this, he said, I will be a father, and ye shall be my sons and daughters. Backbiting. When you stop stop putting your hands being a back backbiting, busybody. Being always being in other people affairs. You no. Know? This is for somebody out here. God is trying to reach you. We may seem like that. We may seem like that we are doing things right. But in his sight, we're doing it wrong. We are doing it wrong. Many times that I myself may think that I be doing certain things and God have to bring have had to put me back in check. No, no, my son. I'm doing it wrong. And uh, no, I no one well, I thought was no, my son. No. So that, that made me have to repent for that and ask him, Lord, now show me your way. And he take me through the word. He that have ears to hear, let me hear what the Spirit of God is saying. God is getting his people together as I close. Jesus say, level, the little level, level the whole lump. Meaning is that we either going to do what the word of God say, me as a whole. Yes. And like I was sharing with y'all, what the spirit was saying is that we could look at every thing in this Bible. Mm -hmm. But there's one book that we don't we don't even read mm -hmm. and that's the book that, that have everything that we supposed to be living by. It's the book of Le the book of Leviticus. Amen. We either going to live with how the way that God have us to live mm -hmm. or we ain't going to do it at all. Yes. We want to pick 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 out some of the word yeah. and, and forget about the other part of the books. Yes. In the book of Leviticus, that's God himself talking to Moses. Mm -hmm. And we don't read that book because if, if we read that book, there's a lot of things that today that we wouldn't be doing. Trust me. Trust me. 
But I want to share that with y'all. I mean, uh, I pray that the word of God was a blessing unto y'all. And if my wife have anything that she wants to say, she can say, you don't have anything you want to add on? I don't know. Do that like that. <clears throat> okay. I want to say y'all have a blessed and yeah. a blessed day. And I'm, I pray that God will you know, find favor in y'all. I pray that in the mighty name of Jesus. Y'all have a blessed day. Bye-bye.